So I had a question about molar distalization and what happens to the inside the torque when you distalize molars with the aligner or Invisalign system. If we put a force F D for distalization on the molars, on both molars, 16 and 26, well, you will get at the anterior aspect of the dentition on the aligner a force F opposite and the same uh, line of action but opposite and will pretend to push the incisor crowns more labially. How can we control this force which gives us, if you have a force like this that is pushing the incisor labially and again this is a fairly small force because it has been taken by all the surfaces of the aligner so we have about eight teeth into the system at the center of resistance as we've seen many times you will get the same force and you will get a moment this way how can we control the torque and not let the incisor rotate and actually move too far forward well we can use for this one we can use class 2 elastics so with class 2 elastics that would tend to mitigate this force but the moment here is still going to be rot rotating the tooth so you'll have rotation that you may not want so how can we get this system to help us what happens if we place a, an attachment like this one on the four incisors and place a light force actually we could make this attachment a little bit more beveled what happens is you place the F force F right here, like so. So you have a force right here. This force being away from the center of resistance, it's always the same story, will give you a moment in this direction and also will tend to extrude the tooth and give you a little bit of a problem here. But this force should be counterbalanced by placing an attachment let's put a force right here that counterbalances somewhat the, the green force so this one is cancelled by this one you still create a force couple that we will not discuss at the moment because that's too complicated normally we should have no problem but again be careful with these attachments and for systems because the, the laws do not always apply to orthodontics so the, the sum of moments and the sum of forces is always equal to zero in a static system and even with aligners these laws do apply we have been able to place an attachment with a small force which creates a significant moment because we're away from the center of resistance and it has develop a small vertical force that we may not want but I think the attachments on the premolar and if we are able to maintain uh, the occlusion and not let the tooth over erupt which would a bite ramp right here that could help also so the bite ramp will take care of the vertical component the attachment right here will help you and what will happen is the bite ramp should cancel this force and you would be probably getting a, maybe a small intrusion of the premolar if you work this system for too long but overall you have control the angulation of the incisors with an attachment again not a perfect system but it's more predictable than by ramps in many cases especially when the teeth are fairly rounded and short thank you